In this problem, we're told the energy required to increase the speed of a certain car from 18 meters per second to 24 meters per second is 190 kilojoules. A. What is the mass of the car? And B. At what speed is the car's kinetic energy equal to 190 kilojoules? So as usual, you want to draw what's going on. So we have this car, 18 meters per second. We know it's going to take 190 kilojoules to get it to go 24 meters per second. And so let's just go ahead and start with A. So for A, we're trying to find the mass of the car. And the way we're going to do this is by relating work to kinetic energy. So we know work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. And so you need to know the formula for kinetic energy too, which is Ke, or kinetic energy, is equal to 1 half mv squared. And so what this is going to allow us to do is if we know work equals the change in kinetic energy, right? and so we know kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared, so when we say the change, what we're talking about is the final kinetic energy minus the initial. And that's going to give you the change. So basically, it's just going to be final kinetic energy, which is 1 half mv final squared minus 1 half mv initial squared. So this is just going to give you the final kinetic energy minus the initial. That's going to give you the change. And we know the change in kinetic energy is equal to 190 kilojoules. So this basically just tells us 190 is equal to 1 half m times v final squared. In this case, v final is the at the end of the interval, right? which is going to be 24. So 24 squared minus 1 half times m times v initial squared. So the initial is just going to be 18. So 18 squared. So what we can do is just factor out 1 half m from both these. So 190. And so keep in mind, I wrote 190 kilojoules, and I wrote 190 right here, but it's actually going to be uh, 190,000. So this is actually wrong, and the reason that is is because this is in kilojoules, but when we solve this, it needs to be in joules. So first what we have to do is convert this into joules, not kilojoules. So to convert, you just want to do 190 times 1,000. And the reason that is is because there's 1,000 joules for every kilojoule. So really, this is just equal to 190,000 joules. So I made a mistake right here. Just keep in mind it's 190,000 because we need it in joules, not kilojoules. So... 190,000 is equal to this. So what we can do is factor out a 1 half m, and you'll get 190,000 equals 1 half m, and so we took it out from both terms. So it's going to be 24 squared minus 18 squared. And so what we can do now is if we're solving for m, right, which is going to be the mass, you can multiply both sides by 2. So 2 times this, and then divide by 24 squared minus 18 squared. And what you'll get is the mass equals 2 times 190,000. And then you divide by 24 squared minus 18 squared. So go ahead and plug this in. So 2 times 190,000. And so then you want to divide by 24 squared minus 18 squared. And so when you go ahead and do that, you're going to get mass, or the mass of this car, is 1,507.936, and then it's going to be in kg. So kilograms, that's going to be the mass. I'm going to round to 1,508 kg. Just make sure you round however your teacher wants you to. But essentially, the mass is going to be equal to about 1,508 kilograms. So that's your answer to A. Now let's do B. So for B, what they're trying to find is the speed's car or the speed of the car when its kinetic energy is equal to 190 uh, kilojoules. So what we know, right, kinetic energy equals 1 half mv squared. And what we're trying to, need to do is solve for v when its kinetic energy is 190 uh, kilojoules. So as again, 190 kilojoules is 190,000 joules. So what we can just say is 190,000 equals 1 half times the mass of the car. In this case, the mass is uh, 1,000 508. So my answer is going to be a bit rounded since I'm using a rounded number. If you want to find a more exact, just plug in this, uh, this number. But essentially, it's just going to be 1 half times the mass times the velocity squared. And what we're going to do is solve for the velocity when this is the kinetic energy, right? That's what they want us to do. So what we can do is divide both sides by 2. So dividing both or multiplying both sides by 2. And so you'll get 2 times 190,000 is equal to 1,508 times v squared. So you want to divide both sides by 1,508. And then keep in mind we have v squared. So if we square both sides, that gets rid of the squared. So essentially, you're going to get v equals the square root of 2 times 190,000 divided by 1,508. So go ahead and plug this in.
So 2 times 190,000 square root 1508. And so when you go ahead and do that, what you're going to get the velocity is equal to is it's going to be equal to or v equals 15.8741 and so on. Uh, and I'm just going to round to 16. So 16 and then the units are going to be meters per second. So it's going to be equal to about 16 meters per second. That's going to be the speed when this is the kinetic energy. But yeah, so 16 meters per second, that's going to be your answer to B. And then your answer to A was 1,508 kilograms. So these are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.